Good evening. Usually the news is about what happened today, but sometimes it's about what happened years ago that we only found out about today. And that's how we begin the broadcast tonight with new revelations about Dick Cheney. For eight years, he was just a heartbeat from the presidency, but his own heart was in far worse shape than the country knew. He had his fourth heart attack just two months before he became vice president. And in a new book, Cheney says a device designed to prevent another heart attack actually made him vulnerable to a terrorist attack. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, on assignment for 60 Minutes, sat down with Cheney and his cardiologist, Jonathan Reiner, as they talked about what was done to protect the vice president. In 2007, when Cheney needed his implanted defibrillator replaced, Dr. Reiner ordered the manufacturer to disable the wireless feature fearing a terrorist could assassinate the vice president by sending a signal to the device telling it to shock his heart into cardiac arrest. And it seemed to me to be a bad idea for the vice president of the United States to have a device that maybe somebody on a rope line or someone in the next hotel room or downstairs might be able to get into, hack into, and I worried that someone could kill you. Years later, this scene from the Showtime drama Homeland showed just how it could be done to the fictional vice president. I'm killing you. What did you think when you watched that? Well, um, I was aware of the, the, the danger, if you will, that existed, but I found it credible because I, I knew from the experience we'd had and the necessity for adjusting my own device that uh, it was a, an accurate portrayal of what was possible. The precariousness of Cheney's physical health raises questions about his state of mind when he was helping make decisions, including those about war and peace. You had had four heart attacks, three catheterizations at this point, mm -hmm. a defibrillator, bypass surgery. Right. Did, did you worry about your physical health impacting your judgment and your cognition? No. Not at all? No. Were you the best that you could be? Well, I, I was as good as I could be, you know, given the fact that I was 60-some years old at that point and a heart patient. Cheney didn't want to acknowledge numerous studies that show a significant connection between severe heart disease and memory loss, depression, a decline in decision-making abilities, and impaired cognition, or that he could be one of the many patients vulnerable to these side effects. Did they talk at all about um, potential side effects, again, because of limited blood flow to the brain, on cognition, on judgment? Yeah. Was that something that uh, you had heard about in any way? Not, you didn't know about it, you weren't worried about it? No. Both? You did, no, no, no one, I no wasn't one, worried about it. No one, did anyone counsel you at all on that? Not that I recall. What about even um, uh, things like depression? No. Sanjay Gupta will have the rest of his interview with the former vice president this Sunday on 60 Minutes.